In the last lecture, we obtained the relation between Fourier coefficients and we found C0 is equal to A0 and Cn is equal to 1 over 2 An minus Jbn and these two relations are valid for all for all types of signal xt whether real or imaginary and we also found an is equal to two times real part of cn and bn is equal to minus two times imaginary part of cn and these two relations are valid only for real xt only for real xt now in this lecture we are going to solve one problem based on the results we have obtained in this problem the Fourier series representation of a real signal xt is given and as the signal xt is real we can use this result and you can see signal xt is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity 3 over 4 plus 3 n pi whole square e power j n pi t so we have the complex exponential Fourier series and therefore 3 divided by 4 plus 3 n pi whole square is cn on comparison you can clearly see it is equal to cn and in the first part of the question we are required to find t naught t naught is the fundamental time period of the signal and we can easily obtain it if we know the value of omega naught in the second part we need to calculate the average value of the signal xt third and fourth parts are very important in third part it says one term in the expansion is a naught cos 6 pi t so when you obtain the trigonometric Fourier series expansion of signal xt you will find there is one term which is equal to a naught cos 6 pi t then calculate the value of a naught similarly in the fourth part one term in the expansion is b naught sin 6 pi t then calculate the value of b naught so let's move to the solution first we will calculate the fundamental time period t naught and for this we will first obtain omega naught if you see xt you will find it is equal to summation and equal to minus infinity to infinity cn e power jn omega naught t so compare e power jn pi t with e power jn omega naught t and you will find omega naught is equal to pi so we have omega naught it is equal to pi and we already know omega naught is equal to 2 pi divided by t naught so from here t naught is equal to 2 pi divided by omega naught so we have 2 pi divided by pi so finally t naught is equal to 2 seconds now we will move to the second part of the question it is asking about the average value of the signal the average value of the signal is equal to a naught and we can see a naught is equal to c naught a naught is equal to c naught and we can easily calculate c naught because we know cn cn is equal to 3 divided by 4 plus 3 n pi whole square now put n equal to 0 and you will have c naught which is equal to 3 divided by 4 plus 3 multiplied to 0 multiplied to pi whole square which will give you 3 over 4 so 3 over 4 is the value of c naught which is equal to a naught which is equal to average value of signal xt so this is the answer of the second part now we will move to the third part of the question in which it says there is one term in the expansion the trigonometric Fourier series expansion which is equal to a naught cos 6 pi t I will compare this with the general form which is a n cos n pi t now if you look closely you will find a n is equal to a naught and cos 6 pi t is equal to cos n pi t so on comparison you can see 6 pi is equal to n pi 6 pi is equal to n pi this means 
n is equal to 6. This is very important information we have. And as n is equal to 6, we are talking about a6. We have a6 and a6 is equal to a0. So to find a0, we need to find a6. And for this, we can use this relation here. a n is equal to 2 times real part of c n. So a6 will be equal to 2 times the real part of c6. And if you look at c n, you will find it is purely real. There is no imaginary part. So a6 will be equal to 2 times real part of c6 or simply 2 times c6 because cn is purely real. So we have 2 multiplied to 3 over 4 plus 3 multiplied to 6 because n is equal to 6 multiplied to pi whole square. So from here we will have a6 which is equal to a0 equal to 6 divided by 4 plus 18 pi whole square. So this is the answer. In the same way you need to calculate B0 and this part of the question is homework for you. So solve and find the value of B0 and once you have your answer post it in comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.